It's summer, it's hot outside. Let's talk about fans. Even if you have AC, a really powerful fan is a great way to stay cool. It's also a great way to save on energy costs. But to do this best, you should consider something called an air circulator. They're really just fans, but thanks to a unique design, they can move air better throughout the room. Which one should you buy? Well, we've collected the best air circulators from Hunter, Lasco, and Vornado, as well as something Dyson calls an air multiplier. We're gonna look at design, airflow, and sound to see which cage propeller is the coolest. There's not much to a fan, or an air circulator for that matter. There's the spinny thing, the propeller, and then there's the housing, usually a big hunk of plastic, or in this case, metal. Then there's the Dyson, which magically spews air out of this intriguing ring. They're all kind of ugly in their own way, but what really matters for using them are the controls. A lot of these fans have a dinky little knob that controls the fan speed, and it's not always clear what means fast and what means slow. Are you saying dinky? Dinky. That's what makes me gravitate towards fans with more controls. The Dyson has a great remote, but if you lose the remote, you're basically screwed because it lacks onboard controls. The Vornado 6303 offers the best of all worlds. There are easy to understand buttons on the fan itself and a handy remote that's basically a bonus. So the Vornado 6303 wins this battle. Let's talk about the difference between a basic fan and an air circulator. An air circulator is a type of fan and it does the same essential job of moving air, but whereas a basic fan moves air straight out in front of the propeller, an air circulator moves air out into the sides and around the room. To measure airflow, we're gonna use confetti to see how far and how fast each of these fans can move air. A remote control Vornado did a really good job. It threw the confetti all the way to the other side of the wall. The width of the vortex was pretty wide too. This Vornado did great. It threw the confetti like pretty quickly out that way, so that means there's a high wind velocity. In general, there's confetti everywhere, so that's a good sign. The vintage Vornado seemed to be a little bit weaker than the others. Not quite as much confetti made it to the other side of the room. The Dyson definitely feels a little bit weak, and you can tell the Confetti didn't make it that far, but because it oscillates, you get a wider spread of air. The Hunter wasn't very strong and the confetti didn't move too far past the fan, but it does tilt up and down so you can get some airflow up to the ceiling where the air is warmer. The Cyclone by Lasco is definitely big and powerful. It blew the confetti farther than any of the fans, but not wide. It's pretty much just a straight stream of air. The Vornado 6303 was actually one of the smallest air circulators in this test, but it produced a super strong stream and moves air around the room really, really well. And for that, the Vornado 6303 wins this battle. A loud fan is bad for your social life, so we're gonna use this handy decibel meter app to see how loud each fan is at its loudest setting. The vintage Vornado was pretty quiet, but the Dyson AM06 was virtually silent, so Dyson wins the sound battle. Now, let's talk money. The Hunter and Lasco fans were the cheapest of the bunch, but they didn't win any of our battles. It's clear that Vornado and Dyson are the leading brands among fans, but the Dyson is so expensive it's hard to justify. Vornado, however, has a few different price options. At the top end, you have the very pretty vintage Vornado. At the bottom, you have the black, kind of ugly Vornado, but the Vornado 6303 occupies a sweet spot in between. It won our design battle, thanks to its remote and handy controls. It also won our airflow battle. So, the Vornado 6303 wins battle moto.